Hi guys, welcome to this video Plan With Me where I'm going to help you plan using a tool which is Trello and using the traditional to-do list and I'm going to suggest which works in which scenarios and of course the choice is yours. So let's get started. necessary that we plan out to the detail from an yearly goal to a quarterly goal to a monthly goal and probably a weekly goal and of course a daily to-do list every one of us may be having that why is it necessary that we plan the answer to this would be that if we have set out certain goals in our mind if we have an yearly goal in place and if we don't break that down into a quarterly goal we don't know what action we want to take this quarter we don't know what action we'll take in this month April and we don't know what exactly we need to accomplish in this week so as to achieve our yearly goal which we have planned for. So once we plan out the goals and we state them, we plan them out, map them out, we are on the road to success to achieve them. So in order to achieve them, the best way is to start planning and then doing bit by bit by bit to reach where we want to. That's why it's important to plan. And today I'm going to help you use one tool which is called Trello to plan out your year your months, your quarter, your year, your quarter, your months and the weekly goals as well. You can also plan your daily to-do list in Trello but everyone functions differently and some people really like to write them, write their tasks down with the hand and then cross them off at the end of the day. So whatever works for you. How I would suggest is definitely for the yearly, quarterly and monthly use Trello and even for the weekly because you have something which is online which is staying updated you can just go and update and it's all there with you saved you don't need to find papers and files and hairs and here and there it's easy it has a format and it will help you achieve all of those with its amazing features some of which are adding lists adding cards to independent lists then you can have due dates you can assign to members you can add people in your board you can even plan projects in trello once you get the hang of the tool i'm sure you're going to use it for every other thing maybe you know buying grocery on a weekly basis so yeah, that's, that's totally up to you, but I'm going to walk you through the tool in a while. And before that, I want to come to the fact that once you have used Trello for the weekly, the monthly and the quarterly and yearly goals, what should you do for your daily goals? So like I was saying, every person is different in case something offline works for you. You can use a cool notepad or any simple list to write down your daily tasks and then use a pen to check them off at the end of the day because this is something that makes you feel more productive makes you feel that you have achieved more but in case you don't want to use uh, pen and paper for this and would want to prefer use the tool i'll show you that inside let's start with trello i'm so excited to share this with you because this is one of my most favorite tools and although you can plan literally anything in trello you can plan projects you can plan your team and make sure everything is aligned with respect to marketing sales leads and everything everything falls into place you can have multiple people join this team and actually work with you Likewise, at the home front, you can plan your meals, do a weekly meal plan, do a book reading plan, anything you like. So use Trello like your notebook. Basically, it can be anything and everything for use. But like I said, I'll be guiding you through how can you make sure that you are aligned with respect to your yearly goals, your monthly goals, your quarterly goals and your weekly goals. And also for some people, it can be a great to-do list. So if you are like me, you can choose it. Otherwise, I do like to write down my to-do list specifically. So the other goals are in Trello, but my to-do list, I'm more comfortable. Even if it's in Trello, I do prefer to write it down and then check it off like with a pen just to give myself satisfaction. So here is like once you log into Trello, you can create a free account and then a sample board will be created or you can simply create on uh, click on create new board and you will be here. All you have to do here is basically this is what we call a board i've just named it a sample board so that uh, it's clear you can have a wallpaper for the particular board and this is what a board looks like now i can invite people if i want a team i can add a team here and invite more people in and then it will no longer be a private board right now it's not visible to anyone if i say public anyone on the internet can actually see this 
is something that I'm making from the perspective of an individual right now. You can make it from a business perspective. You can make it from a business owner perspective. It could be anything. So is it either it could be business's revenue or your personal salary or personal revenue or anything. Not just in terms of revenue, but revenue is an example. So this is yearly goals. And the second one, I would say as quarterly goals. Okay. And then monthly. And then weekly so i'm just going to give you some examples and then you can use it as per your own choice and convenience so first of all with respect to yearly goals this this is particularly what i call a list this is another list so the things that i'm moving here and there i can actually move them here move them here anywhere as per my preference these are called lists and now inside of a list if i write for example revenue once a year then it's a one crore goal of my revenue if i write i write health perfect vision or something related I, i'm not sure what you want to mention here what can i mention okay clean eating five weeks a week this is not for me guys i'm not I'm just giving you samples of things. So it could be clean eating five times a week for the year. This is something that you want to follow for an entire year. If it is something like increasing stamina, you can have a pl plan of actually running, a running plan with it. I'm not really sure how this is going to go for now. But I'm just giving you examples. Now, if I'm talking with respect to business, I can just remove these. I can remove these. And I'll just talk, okay, revenue, I want this much. Um, so this is my yearly goal, for example. Now, on the basis of this, I will have a quarterly goal. Assuming your yearly goal for 2020 is one CR, then I can break it down into Q1 could be 20. Q2 could be again 20. And then Q3 could be 35, or Q4 could be 35. So I'm just playing with it. You can totally write down what you mean, what you want to do. It's just an example. And now these are what we call cards in Trello. So basically inside of each list, this is one list. There can be multiple cards like this. And of, for each card, if I open it, I can actually assign a member to it. So if there's some other people in this board rather than just me, I can add them here assign this and then give them a due date that okay you have to achieve this in two days i'm just giving you an example I, not that i have to achieve a quarterly goal of 20 lakhs in two days it's just an example so like that i can add description yes i know a b c d and then i can make a checklist here say task one task two like that i can add multiple things in there I can give it a cover in case I'm attaching an image, it will automatically have a cover. Otherwise, I can give it a cover like this colors or images or anything that I wish. I'm just showing you an example of one. I can attach a Google Drive link to it, a file from my computer or from or another card. I can attach another card from Trello itself. So that is something that I can do power ups. You can actually explore more as you start using Trello, but initially you don't want to use anything of that sort. Okay, so this is how it you can use it. Always teams can communicate inside here. Once a team member does a task, they can actually check it off. And as you see here, it will be done. If it's actually pending and it needs to be done today, it will showcase as due soon. This is for tomorrow, actually. The timing is like that. If it was supposed to be done on Monday, then it'll be like overdue. So automatically by having a look, you'll know what's happening and what's not happening. This need not be done with your goal specifically. This can be done with your daily to-do list tasks like that. I'm just giving you an idea. So once you've done the quarterly breaking, then you can do monthly break. So for example, if you want to do 20, you can do 10. Uh, you can do 5 for first month, 10 for second month, 15 for third month. Like that also you can do. Now for 5L, you probably need 3 new clients. So clients, you can write 3. And then your goal for this is all January goal. So you can actually separate it out by creating a separate list Jan. 2020. All the 2020s in the past. I'm just giving you examples, guys. Don't take it to your heart, please. 
so jan goals i can move here also now so this could have like an overview of goals like for example this and then i can control c this and control v this if you're using a mac use command c and command v so this is like a title of this this is the overall goal for january okay now for january for me to achieve this goal i need three new clients okay for being three new clients i know what my conversion is so probably if my conversion is 50 percent i'll say i need to have six leads for six leads what do i need to do i can have my goal set in like this now if this is my goal and i need six leads in all and i have say zero of six for now my goal is for week one week one this could be january i need to have at least one of six leads okay or i can say two of six leads one of three clients that means out of three i need to have at least first client by week one or two leads by week one for that probably in social media in week one i need to do three i need to do five days insta stories two linkedin posts xyz could be anything so this is just examples that i'm giving you on the basis of all of this you can have monday not that i'm saying that monday is jan 1 i'm just giving you an example monday i need to do a call xyz client so like that i can have multiple tasks for monday i can jot the same tasks down in my notebook that i showed you before a pretty notebook or a to-do list or anything you need not have your daily list here this is just an extra confirmation or extra thing that i sometimes do so whatever works for you you can actually start exploring trello like that it has a lot of shortcuts it has a lot of more fun things for example if i need to archive something that this is not something that's working for me delete doesn't work in trello so i'll just hover over it and click c in a mac and it will go away okay so I can do these shortcuts if I say that, okay, this is already done. So I'll say one, that means it's, so all of these you'll know eventually a little later, but for now, all I can say is that start exploring Trello. It's an amazing tool. You can use it for so many things. Go explore. You'll see in the template section also, there are a lot of things that you can actually try with Trello. Do give it a try. Do give me a shout out or a comment, whatever you feel like, and let me know if this is something that was useful and you have actually try Trello. Whenever you have done so, please drop in a comment and let me know your views. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you outside. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you liked the Trello video, would need more of a detailed video on that, let me know in the comments below and I would love to create that for you. If you like the video, the drill remains the same. Like, share, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you are able to see me every Friday whenever the new video comes up and helps you in achieving a little more in the field you are aiming for and achieving those goals that you've planned with me today. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.